I have another Princess Diana related question to ask. Yikes. Speaking of Princess Diana, <laughs> that was cruel. Did you guys hear that? Those tires screeching? After I said I had another Princess Diana question to ask, somewhere over there there was like a car's tires squealing. <clears throat> no. I was thinking, um, I've been, I've been seeing some more of the documentaries. There were two documentaries on last night about Princess Diana. All, you know, for the 20th anniversary of her death. And, um, some things have come up that I find, I think are, 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 make you think. Um, now, they did an investigation after the car crash that killed her, and, you know, there were all sorts of conspiracy theories going on, especially um, fueled by, what was his name, the the father of the, the guy that, that she was involved with who died in the car crash, the um, owner of Harrods Department Store or whatever. He was really convinced that it was a assassination pulled off by the royal family because they did not want Diana marrying a Muslim man and having the future King William having a Muslim stepfather or whatever, or possible Muslim half-brothers and sisters or whatever. He felt like he had always been slighted by the royal family when he purchased Herod's Philip, I guess was very upset and took all the royal seals off of the Herod's department store and all this and that and he was never allowed what he felt was was social entry into the upper classes he felt like he was always held down and I think he was he wasn't given British citizenship or something I don't know anyway what what I find is strange is and my question is if now good lord what's going on over there my question is my question isn't do you care about the royal family because I know some people will say I don't give a damn about the royal family I could care less about Princess Diana. That's not my question. My question is, would it change your mind that the accident that killed her was just that, an accident, if you knew certain things? It has come to light that Princess Diana wrote a letter to her, I think he was her butler, and who turned out to be a good friend of hers, that she alleges that Prince Charles is going to kill her in a car crash and arrange for her to have a serious head wound or, or die. That's in writing, and he's been showing that letter in interviews. Also, I heard um, that she went to see a lawyer with similar fears that the royal family was going to have her murdered because I guess according to rule, royal protocol or, or law or whatever, Charles could never remarry as long as she was alive. So if he wanted to be able to marry Camilla and succeed to the throne and have her by his side, Diana would have to be dead. Would that make you pause if you found that out or if you learned that? Add to that... The work Princess Diana was doing before she died, um, advocating on stopping the manufacture and the implementation of landmines, um, turns out that Britain is, I guess, the leader in produ production of landmines, and it makes um, British arms dealers quite a bit of money, and that she had uh, received letters from I don't know if it was the people in the in the 
uh, ammunitions business or if it was government people who told her, um, shut up, you're causing us, you know, bad press, back off. Add to that, uh, uh, during the car crash, the um, cameras that are security cameras in the tunnel for some reason the night that Diana had her crash and died weren't working. Isn't that convenient? I don't know if you if you knew these things and, and, and you know if you if you knew that she had written these letters and gone to see a lawyer saying that you know these people are going to kill me would it change your mind? Would you pause? Would you stop and say hmm Maybe this wasn't a simple accident. Maybe it wasn't the case of a drunken driver. I'm wondering. I mean, that's my answer to this question. I am wondering. I think, you know, any one of these things alone might make you think, well, it's just probably coincidence. But how many things need to pile up before you start going, wait a minute. I don't know. I kind of find it hard to believe that Charles would kill the mother of his kids. I don't know if he is really that evil of a person. Just so that he could marry Camille. But, but if you think about it... Oh, here comes a neighbor and I'm talking about Princess Diana's death. <laughs> I don't know. Um... It just makes me pause, you know, if, if he could not succeed to the throne and if he could not marry the woman that he loved, do you think that he would, or maybe his supporters, would have had a hand in doing away with her? Diana, if you add into that the work she was doing that was perhaps causing um, British armament companies, whatever they're called, whatever name they have, lots of money, if she was, you know, uh, fooling around with, with Muslim guys, which she was doing. She was with a, a Muslim heart surgeon, and then she went to the other one who was also uh, a Muslim. And there's racism. I don't know. It just seems very strange. It seems very strange also, um, during one of the inter uh, documentaries last night, uh, Diana's sister, Sarah, happened to say Diana was um, fun, fanatical about seatbelts. She always used her seatbelts. She always made other people in vehicles with her use their seatbelts. So why wasn't she wearing one that night? Seems very strange. Perhaps the seatbelts weren't working. Had they been tampered with? I don't know. You tell me. Anyway, that's my question. What do you think? Do these things make you pause? Do they make you stop and think? Especially when letters come to light and a lawyer steps forward saying she was afraid that the royal family was out to get her and to, and to die in a car crash, specifically. <laughs>